looking at a isometric hinge, we're thinking about an overcoming bilateral hinge. So essentially thinking about pulling an object from the ground, it's like getting out of that sticking point of your deadlift. So we wanna be able to generate tension from the ground and we're not even actually moving. So placing a band underneath kind of the middle of your foot and you're essentially sitting into that hinge position, trying to keep the butt open. I know that this is a trouble spot for me. So you can hold on to the band, or honestly, you can generate that tension just sitting back into your hinge. We're gonna keep the chest up, thinking about exhaling these low ribs back, so we don't wanna be in that flared position. While finding weight over the midfoot, keeping the booty long, exhaling the ribs back, and holding this position in our hinge. Now, from here, think about pushing through the ground. This is where you can grab onto the band and pull up if you're not feeling that sensation of tension. Or honestly, you can just hold right here, keeping the booty open, wedgie pick as necessary, and holding your hinge position. So this is a hinge, not a squat. So keeping that hinge position, exhaling back. And now from here, I want you to think about some pelvis movement so you can sense those proximal hamstrings as you inhale, think about slightly tucking. Exhale, untuck. Keeping the ribs back. Inhale, tuck. Exhale, untuck. So just little pelvis movement, weight in the midfoot. Tuck, untuck. Think about the hamstrings really moving the pelvis. So think about those proximal hamstrings. They control the position of the pelvis front to back along with the abs. So you're gonna really feel those hamstrings Kind of turning on and working hard right below the butt cheek as you maneuver the pelvis position. Keep the butt open, 